Sutter? Yes? This is Baker. I think it's time we talked. from here yet. What have you all done? Second. Negative. No sign of him yet. Where is he? Bingo. Here we go. Jim, I wouldn't be assigning you to this case if I could help it. What? I have no choice. <laughs> you know, so far this phone call hasn't exactly been an ego trip. A man named Cummings, who's involved with our nuclear program, has been selling low-grade intelligence to the other side. Suddenly he's decided to turn around and tell us who he's been dealing with. Oh? Any big enchiladas? We never found out. Cummings was killed on his way to tell us. Why, didn't he have protection? Wall to wall. We had him covered every way imaginable. Well, then how could anybody get through to him? We don't know. But then again, we never know how he operates. Now, who operates? Bluebird. He seems to be back, Jim. What have we got, Richie? Murder weapon. We found it embedded in Cummings' back. Nasty looking thing, isn't it? Ever seen anything like it? Yeah. It's Oriental. An expert trained in certain schools of the martial arts can throw it from long range and with deadly accuracy. You seem to know an awful lot about these things. Too much. That's Bluebird right there. Leipzig. June 66. And? Bluebird again, Amsterdam. That can't be the same man. Yep, same man. Among other things, he's a master of disguise. Where'd he get that scar? Heidelberg? Out of his makeup kit. He has no scar. His weapon of choice. Tell me, how did you first get involved with this Bluebird of Happiness? When I was running the West German network. He was my counterpart running the East German network. Now, for some reason we don't know, he's here. There's hardly enough evidence to be sure. Well, I'm sure. So I know the man, I know how he operates. I guarantee you, Bluebird is back. Okay. Now, suppose you tell me something, huh? How come you're here, assigned to the case? Level with me. Well, Baker thought a team of us would be better balanced. In other words, he thinks I can't be trusted to handle this one on my own. You asked me to level with you. What do you think? I think you're a little overboard on the subject of Bluebird. But what I can't quite understand is why. Not talking, huh? Mind on your own business? 
I get it. You're not Hunter. You're an android, a perfect robot replica of Hunter, sent here from another planet to test. <laughs> you laugh, proves you're human. Too bad. Too bad? What would you do if I were an android? Hotwire you. House. By looking at it, you'd never guess that the man who lived in a plain house like that was just murdered in an international spy plot, would you? The banality of evil. Now, Mrs. Cummings is expecting us. She thinks we're scientists who worked with him, so act scientific. Whatever you say, boss. It's purely an assumption, based, I'm afraid, on this fixation of yours about Bluebird. Well, he was here, looking for something. Jim. There's a page missing out of the state book. April 14th. Every other page seems to be here. Well, maybe he's beginning to slip. He left the page underneath. Records for Matt. Cummings obviously had some records for someone named Matt. Yeah, what kind of records? Uh, tax records, court records, birth records. Maybe even photograph records. Well, the Bluebird tear this whole place apart just to take one single page out of an appointment calendar. Are you still convinced that it's not Bluebird? All I'm asking for is proof. Unless that has become an unreasonable request in this case. We've both been in this racket long enough not to assume anything without proof. Marty? What? It's Colin Byrne. He teaches here at the university. I'm still not sure what he does exactly. I used to be an intelligence. That's where I first met him. Good man. Strictly civilian now. But occasionally he'll drop some intelligence gossip on me. <laughs> Looks as though he's quit intelligence and gone straight. Well, he's still the ultimate puzzle solver. Crossword puzzles, double cross six, even jigsaw puzzles. You give him the letter A and he'll come back at you with the entire alphabet in 20 languages. He still has his hand in the game. From here? Yeah, he's in a special think tank program involved in uh, strategic planning. Hello, Jim. Oh, hi. I'm sorry I'm late, but I knew you'd break in and make yourself at home. Check, mate. Good to see you. It's even better to see you. Marty Shaw. Colin Byrne. If I'd known that you were coming, I would have been on time, or even earlier. I now can see why Jim says you're an expert on games of strategy and tactics. Well, I put it this way. I call myself the uh, Joe Namath of chess. What can I do for you? 
What do you know about a man named Herb Cummings? I know he was killed the other day. Well, that's all news. What else? He was a headhunter for the scientific community. He procured the best men for hard to fill jobs, mostly in atomic industry. Hmm. Now, who's Matt? Matt? Yes, Herb Cummings' appointment calendar for last April the 14th said, records for Matt. 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 I must confess the Muhammad Ali of tic-tac-toe is stumped. But give me a day or so. If I come up with anything brilliant, and no doubt I will, I will get in touch with you. Well, nothing like a good hot bath to cleanse the soul. And the body as well. Well, I'm ready for bed. How about you? Hmm? No, oh, no. You go ahead, Dad. I'll go in the other room. You want to know something, Hunter? A few more cases like this, and I'm going to develop a terrible inferiority complex. I'm trying to figure this thing out. You're not figuring. You're staring at three words on a piece of paper. Records for Matt. It's got to lead somewhere. Maybe Cummings kept a girl on the side named Matilda. She was crazy about Elton John. I'm sorry. You saw what he did to Cummings' wife. Well, that's standard operating procedure for Bluebird. I had an agent once in Bremen, war widow. Katrina Blau. Not professional, not even very good at it, but eager. I let her handle some Intelligence work for me, odds and ends, nothing where she could get hurt. After a couple of months, she fumbled a drop. Cover was blown, her usefulness to everybody was ended. She was out of the game, everybody knew it. But Bluebird, he uh, wouldn't let it stop there. We found her body floating in the Wesser with one of his Death Stars stuck in her back. A man enjoys his killings. And more than that, he enjoys taunting his victims before he does it. Yes. Mr. Hunter, this is the garage downstairs. I just now noticed you left your lights on and the car's locked. Oh, uh, well, thank you very much. That's the uh, garage. My lights are on, car door is locked. Jim. Did you really lock the car? I don't remember. I'm going with you. Oh, dress like that? I'll throw something over this. Why all the concern? I smell a trick. A lot of bluebirds? Hey. You better watch it, fella. You're beginning to get paranoid about that guy. Careful. Always.
look or something. He's a parking attendant. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know what got into me. I don't know. It's all right. No, it's not. You're right. I'm, I'm getting crazy over this whole thing. Well, at least you got it out of your system where you can go back to work without worrying about Bluebird every step of the way. Jim? We found this stuck in our elevator last night. Oh. Our friend sent his usual message. And Jim was out all night trying to find out how he delivered it. I discovered something. About what? Bluebird? No, darling. Matt. You remember Matt? I checked on the late Mr. Cummins. The only Matt among his personal friends and business associates is the personnel director of the Clam Point nuclear power plant. Now, Cummins used to supply almost all the scientific personnel to that very plant. What is Matt's full name? Matthias. Matt is merely an abbreviation. Carl Matthias. Strange man. In what way? Well, one would hardly expect the personnel director of a nuclear power plant to have such a bizarre hobby. That's why I remember him so vividly. What is his hobby? Well, I call it suicide, but the generic term is skydiving. Excuse me. You know where I might find Matthias? Carl Matthias? Yeah. Yeah. He's a jumper. They hadn't put his helmet on yet. Right over there. Okay, thank you. Mr. Matthias? Yeah, that's me. I'd like to talk to you. Sure. We're about to take off, but I'll be right down. him again. Well, they jump when the plane reaches 12,000 feet. They free fall most of the way, so he'll be down in no time. has been skydiving. Three, four years now. He's out here every weekend. Every day off, every legal holiday. <laughs> While you and me are eating Christmas turkey, old Matthias is balling out of some airplane. Who's 
who? Red, gold, and black is uh, Diggs. Red with white stripes is Turkle. But that's will have a white shoe. Shoots had been retied after he packed. Dropped like a stone. Well, we were ten minutes late. Or earlier, we could have stopped it. This bluebird you tell me about was one step ahead of you, friends. Something he seems to have been very good at. By the way, did you check on Mrs. Uh, Matthias? Yes, while you were at the airport. I was surprised to see them living in a mansion. She talked vaguely about investments he'd made. Yes, I rather doubt that. I suspect the man came into this sudden wealth through being bribed. Not by Bluebird. Well, follow the logic circuits here. A, Cummings decides to sell our side some important information. But before he can do so, he gets killed by this Death Star. B, his house is obviously searched for something, and his poor wife was murdered simply because she happened to be on the scene. Well, Bluebird was searching for records of some kind. C, what kind of records would Cummings the procurer of scientific personnel, bring to Matt, Matthias, head of personnel, employment records. Well, that's a neat puzzle, but uh, it doesn't lead anywhere. Yes, it does. If you add to the equation the supposition that the records were faked, background invented by Cummings with the knowledge and connivance of the money-hungry Mr. Matthias. Faked records for Bluebird? Why? To allow him employment at a high level at Matthias's installation. As you know, all personnel employed in nuclear power plants have to be cleared by Washington, national security. And Matthias needed records of past employment to show to the feds. So he got Cummings to fake them for him, which leads us to D. Cummings keeps a copy of the records, and he decides to tell our side all about it. A bluebird becomes aware of this and kills him. E. His next step is to prevent Matthias from doing anything similar, which he accomplishes. All this to get Bluebird back into the place Matthias worked at? The Clam Point power plant. Exactly. Quite peaceful for a plant run by atomic energy. Yeah, most of the works are underground. Is sabotage a possibility? No, it doesn't fit. It's strictly a commercial operation. The only atomic part is providing steam to run the generators to make electricity for this area. What would Bluebird be doing in a plant like this? Well, here's your plant ID. Personnel? Yeah, you'll be where Matthias operated. We'll go in separately. Zircaloid. The total fuel in the reactor core weighs 170 tons. There are nine separate fail-safe systems that shut the pile down automatically in case of the slightest malfunction warning, which I might add is very unlikely. 
Jim Hunter. Lou, would you leave the office, please? Ben Schiff. Welcome to a key non-job. Well, that's not the way they described it to me. They wanted you to take the job. And you don't? I don't have a choice. If I had a choice, no. I wouldn't want you. I don't need an assistant. I don't like having one shoved down my throat. You know what the biggest challenges to our security system have been? What's that? An eight-year-old boy managed to get into the reactor looking for the restroom. Conservation freak who trained carrier pigeons to dive bomb the front gate in an environmental protest. <laughs> uh, I saw a tour group out there. Shopping trip. The what? The public tour never gets inside. What you saw was a group of VIP businessmen from South America who want a contract, a few million dollars worth of reactor to put in their own backyards. Electricity for the masses, huh? Washington wants to push our plants all over the free world. Makes us a lot of hard cash and good buddies at the same time. Makes them depend on us for a lot of the hardware, too. Not a security problem. You really want to help me? That's what I'm being paid to do. Go read a comic book. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Honey, would you get out the files on the new control room people and stamp them cleared? We just got the word from security. Those are the 301 files. 301 files. Well, they used to be the 502s, but don't you worry about that. They're in that uh, number six drawer. Jim Hunter. You're new. First day. That's uh, Sander Henning there. Sander? It's our new security man. Nice to meet you. Uh, hi. Jim Hunter. What's that you're doing? Well, it's, uh, it's rather complicated. I'm monitoring the ratio of fuel emissions in heat generators. Jargon and obfuscation. Leave it to the physicist to make the straightforward unintelligent. He's watching television. That's what he's doing. Hi, I'm Lawrence. Jim Hunter. Ah, security. Not a physicist, I hope. No. Good, that's a good start. All you've got to know is if that red light goes on, you hit the bricks and we stay here and earn our salaries. <laughs> I take it you're not a physicist either. No, sir, I am not. I am the real thing, a practical engineer. I don't think this building will blow up if we go have coffee, do you? Security, huh? Well, nothing's ever optimally secure, is it? Nothing in life. Uh, we try. Yes, we try every day and every way to make ourselves better and better. You worked at many of these atomic electric plants? Mm. My dossier is on file for your examination. No, no, I'm just curious. You seem very knowledgeable. I am about all of this. The technical people try to make this glorified tea kettle seem very complicated. Actually, all we're doing is making steam by running water past a hot nuclear reaction, which is not to say that it's a toy. To say that it's 100% safe, you'd have to be a fool. Carpenters. Would you believe we need carpenters we can't find? Really? PhDs are a dime a dozen, but try and get a good master carpenter. 
Hey. How'd the lock file get open? Is it open? Well, look at that. That lock is worth ten cents. I found four people recently hired in key spots. By Matthias, of course. Ralph Metzger, a physicist, 25. Oh, that's too young. Margaret Weil. Sander Henning. Henning? Control supervisor. Oh, yes, I remember him. Uh, who's the fourth? The security chief, Ben Schiff. <laughs> Thank you. I bet that's the last chocolate milk. Yes. How did you know? Because by this time of the day, I'm dying to have one, and by the time I get to the machine, all it dispenses is tutti free. Hold the fort. time he's done this, he's just toying with us. Obviously, it's a tactic to scare us. To scare me. And he's succeeding. Marty. Yeah. Shift isn't over. What about BS? Missing. Mr. Hunter, the security office secretary phoned and said there's a message for you. You can take it in the control room. All right. Now tell her to hold it, I'll take it at my desk. Line four. Oh, thanks, so. figured out, old man. I know what our feathered friend is up to. By the way, are these phones safe? Uh, no, not at all. I think I'd better come over and have a chat with you. I've got some goodies that might interest you. Okay, come ahead. I tell you, there's a room, uh, third level underground, uh, 32. We'll meet you there. All right. Uh, uh, Colin. Hmm? How are you going to get in here without a badge? You must be joking, old boy. Who do you think you're talking to? After all, Bluebird isn't the only expert gate crasher in town, you know. After all. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one won't be clever. Come on. 
found this in his pocket. He talked about goodies. Saudis turned down Russian reactor bid. 500 million nuclear plant contract. Eastern Bloc and nuclear power race with the U.S. There's stories about buying and selling reactors. That's why he's here. That's why Bluebird is here. What? He sets off a limited reactor accident. Spoils the sale of our hardware to potential buyers. In the Eastern Bloc, they fire off a lot of propaganda about the unreliability of our systems. More sales wash out. And then they try to use their own product as a wedge into the countries that we're going to buy from us. A limited nuclear accident. It's too dangerous. They're too unpredictable. Exactly. And it has to happen right now while the buyers are still here. I think he could pull it off. Someone would have to be brilliant. Ruthless and monumentally arrogant, and that is Bluebird. Where's Schiff? I don't know. He left here about ten minutes ago. Check it out. Are the indicators normal? Yeah. Uh, don't worry. If we had a coolant leak, that light would come on and stay on. No. <clears throat> Look, Dan, is, is it possible something go haywire with this whole thing? And all these instruments read normal? Mm -hmm. If someone were purposely trying to sabotage the reactor. Purposely? Yeah, you could short circuit the monitoring systems. Contained in what we call the blue box. You'd have to know exactly what you were doing. What would be your aim if you wanted a controlled accident to happen? <laughs> There's no such thing as a controlled accident. It would get out of control very quickly. Well, you could manufacture a temporary coolant leak but you'd have to have access to the reactor area. I think that kind of coolant leak is being manufactured right now. Let's check with them downstairs, huh? Sure. No, nothing like that. Okay. Looks okay, Dan. We'll check it out. If there were a coolant leak, where would it be? I was just about to look. Tell them to scram upstairs and shut down. That means the plan will be shut down for months. That's right. Dan, it looks bad down here. Get a supervisor. It's just what Bluebird wants. Look, isn't there anything else we can do? Well, someone might be able to shut off the valve, but it's too radioactive in there. What about the anti-radiation suits? Even in radiation suits, we'll put my men over the dose. I'm not letting them go in there. We've got a scram. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, what about me? I've been exposed like your men. Wait a minute. You want to try it? Let them shut down. We can prove it with sabotage. Just tell me where that valve is. You're only doing this because it's Bluebird. Give us three minutes and make ready to scram. Okay, let's put the suit on here. The valve is at the east end of the chamber. One breath of the gas in that room and you'd be dead in a week. The gas mask will protect you against that. The real danger is radiation. The suit is only partial protection. You'll be over your allowable dose in 120 seconds.
Dot Scram. K8 is okay to pump cooler. Right. important. Not even mine. Give him down the sick bay. <laughs> all right, everybody back to work. You sure you're all right? Things won't be quite the same knowing that uh, Bluebird won't ever be back. working out of the African desk on a situation involving the Republic of Chand. Was he over there? Yes, but he came back two months ago. The point is, the economy there is rocking like a boat and the government may go under any minute. Is Washington committed to that government? Very much so. And at last report, Bill Wells had uncovered some tie-in between the Chand and this country. What kind of a tie-in? I think that's what Bill Wells was just about to find out. And I think that may be the reason he disappeared. Now, Jim, the help you'll need on this one is on the way. said he was slugged, garroted, and dumped. When the call came for me to get into it here, I had the feeling he was blown away. I just... Jim. His wife had another kid last year, named him Harold. Can you believe that? Dr. Baker. Wells was in touch. He was worried he'd been made. He was staying at the Bella Vista Cottages in the hills. Baker said he squirreled away some information there.
exit number five. Hello there. Oh, hello. Your friend of Mr. Wells? No, we were just uh, trying to see inside. Uh, my husband and I were uh, thinking of staying here for a while if you have a vacancy. <laughs> Do I ever. Take a look at this one. This one has a wonderful kitchen. But I guess you folks will be doing other things than cooking. That's yeah, the funny thing about that gentleman next door. He hasn't been around for a few days. He's probably a traveling salesman on the road a lot. Oh, here we are. We'll take it. Lovely. I'm Ed Carstairs. Now, you take your time, and when you're ready, you come on up to the office, and we'll make the arrangements. I do hope you're going to enjoy your stay with us. Are we really going to stay here? Well, it's quiet out of the way. Why not? Languages fluently. You believe that? Well, in three places he'd stash material. Under a drawer, behind a bureau. Or some place like this. Paul LeBlanc. That's uh, probably the cover he was using in Africa. Some notations. Republic Trust. Local bank. 5 2 1 p.m. 6 2 2 30. 7 2 11 a.m. Those are observation reports. One month apart. Hmm. You tail someone to the bank. In person or maybe not. What's that? E 99904. It's a license plate number, a government employee license plate. He followed by five digits. Diplomatic court? That could be. I want to get a line on the situation first, so Baker gave me some names. I understand you were with the OSS during World War II. Sure no. was. Yeah, those were the good old days. <sighs> Problem with me is I went back in the old business. And then on that, I'd still been with the agency. Might even been working with you people now. Anyways, I'll do what I can, Hunter. What can I do for you? Mr. Kettering, one of our best people, a man named Bill Wells, was murdered. Bill Wells? Yes. Oh, I knew him well in Africa. Killed? Oh, that's too bad. He was an ace of a guy. Yes, he was. We got a license plate number from him, diplomatic. Registered in the name of Stephen G. Brand. Sure, Brand. Yeah, he was the council assistant at the embassy, Africa, for over four years. In public a chance. Oh, I'll sign those later, Miss Miller. Come on in the office. Mr. Kettering, your company operates in Central Africa. Sure do. <laughs> Anywhere there's oil on the ground, Mr. Hunter, we try to pull it out. And it's not an easy job, believe me. Now you take the chant. That country's going to hell in a handbasket. We haven't got a clue what's going to happen out there next. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. How about a drink? Yeah, the scotch would be fine. See, that's the whole point. The lid could come off that place any minute. Bill Wells got taken out working on that. But he was taken out here in this country. This fellow Brand is here, assigned a liaison with African consuls. What about him? Well, all I know is he came from an old society family. Sort of diplomatic baloney. Went loony over Africa. You know the type. Thanks. 
Anything more specific you can tell me about him? Not really. He married an old society lady. Oh, one thing. Couldn't keep his hands off all the beautiful women used to come his way. Became an embarrassing joke with the American colony there, believe me. You think he's geared into what's going on in the Chan? I'd sure like to know why Bill Wells wrote down the license plate number of his car. I'd like Brand to meet somebody on a pretext, a lady. Is she pretty? Well, if you like the type. All right. I'll get somebody I know to call him. I'm sure you'll see her. She can handle herself all right. Oh, yes, I think so. I think. You better be damn sure, boy. Chand was a French possession. Before independence, that is. It was, uh... Are you sure you won't have something? Some Von Blanc, perhaps? No. Perrier? No, thank you. Very good for the digestion. It's 4 p.m., Mr. Brand. Ah, yes. Touchy stomach. That's a hazard of the trade. I'll just take it with the Perrier. Except for Henry. Kissinger, that is. Has a cast iron stomach, that man. And you do have that 430 with Mr. Archer. Boring, boring man. And that letter to state you it wanted. It will just have to wait. This was the chand, and I loved it. Fine lot, you see. It uh, absorbed the French sophistication and retained its African earthiness. Fascinating. Yes, yes, I know. No. No, well, what would you suggest? Would you stop that, please? <laughs> you are a very uptight lady. But I know how to fix that for you, eh? Oh, yes. Yeah. You know very well how to fix things. Things and people. Time, time, time. We really have so much to talk about. If you're really going to write this book and plunge yourself into the African experience, you... I tell you what. Are you free this evening? Well... I have this little flat. It uh, is um, very relaxing, and uh, we'd have plenty of time. And do you have primitive paintings? Marvelous ones. Beautiful ones. <laughs> Mademoiselle, you are a very pretty lady. Thank you. Tell me, are you here on diplomatic business? You might say. Oh, no, perhaps a commissipelled mannequin. You are a mother. I happen to have done that, yes. You are a very smart lady, too. Yeah, she's up in his office now. Now, when she comes down, we'll come over to your office, because, uh, but... Just a sec. Hunter? You there? Hunter? I'll see you later, Kenner.
somebody here, mister? Um, no, uh, I think I've got the wrong address. You look for a man or girl? Well, uh, neither. See, I told you. Yeah, the tall man in the dark glasses. That's Brand's chauffeur. I think his name is Sebastian. He worked for Brand in Africa. Probably brought him back with him to the States. He's a bad man, Hunter. The word around the Chan that he's killed several men. Naturally, all unprovable. And cut up a few women. Sorry, Marty. I guess it didn't make you feel too safe. Hmm. Hold my calls, will you, ma'am? I tell you, if it turns out Sebastian did kill Wells. Yeah. I just received a coded message from my man in Central Africa. Chad and Frank falling like a stone. Inflation growing. University students demonstrating against the government. U.S. Embassy very concerned. Revolutionary coalition at work. Uh, the Wells was killed here, casing banks. How does that fit? Well, all I can do is keep gathering information. You're seeing Brand again tonight, aren't you? I am, unfortunately. You keep that up any longer, you're going to pull out the roots. Just dressing the part, boss. Well, if you noted a bank, there has to be a money connection. Sebastian has to have killed Wells. There's no other way to figure it. Hmm. Brand's still living up to his reputation? Tay to tay for two. Well, let's hope it's all productive. Well, I'm ready to cancel right now. And you and I can spend the rest of the evening uncombing my hair. What's the matter? I heard something. you in the morning about the insurance. There you go. Good as new. Just as delicious. You like well done. You said something about a fuse? Uh, it's just a guess. This kind of thing doesn't happen here. Never has. Who are they after? Me. Can I go to Brands after this? I suppose you should. If I was to make you queen of the Nile, though, I'll take him up on it. The music you see is really um, a kind of a fertility ride. It it makes the crops grow, and of course, <laughs> it makes more babies. They go together. Yes. I like the way you drink champagne. Elegant. Most people just toss it off all wrong. You sip it sensuously. That's the way to drink champagne. There's something about you I find quite irresistible. Oh? Intoxicating. You're very flattering. Tell me something. Why did you come here? 
Because I sense something in you, some power. You're not what you seem to be. Do you see that? You're extraordinary. Light years beyond any woman I ever knew. If you see me the way you say you do, well... Well, what? Well, uh, how do you want to live? What kind of life would you like? Samaritz, a villa on the Adriatic, Paris. I'm a State Department salary. <laughs> well, a diplomat makes certain contacts. You see, uh, I have resources tucked away, safe, dependable. I would be happy to share them with you if we could find some mutual affection together. It's not impossible. But without being crass and spoiling our rapport, there should be some token of friendship, don't you think? Oh, I see. I'm, um, I'm sure that could be arranged. Well, I really must be going now. I hope to hear from you soon. You will, within 24 hours, perhaps sooner. I'll be waiting. Good night. Good night. Your wife tonight. That's why we couldn't be together, yes? Well, she had some sort of charity affair that came up. I thought I'd get some work done, quietly. With that woman, yeah. Yes, with that woman, her book. You can't even lie convincingly. You're despicable. secretary on the street when I left, but I didn't let on I'd seen her. Say anything? Oh, a very interesting proposition. It got to the point where he discussed having money. Serious money could only be. Tucked away and safe. I believe him. I believe he's got the money. The bank, three deposits. Where'd he get the money? Who gave it to him? Marty, do you think he'd tell you anything more to a little further with this thing? Hello? Charlie? 30 minutes? All right. Where? Yeah, I got it. Okay. I won't be alone. Right. Peter. One of my Chan contacts. He's got a disgruntled revolutionary in tow. Just got off the plane. He's willing to talk. Proper inducements. You join me? I tell you what, Marty. You better get back to the cottage. Brand may call again. If he does, you make another date with him for as soon as possible. Okay, let's go.
happened? They tried to take us both out. Did you get a look at them? No. But I sense Sebastian. I mean, I know he was there. I know it. The way I wish he was. I just see him with his hands around Bill Wells' throat. God, if I could have just... Jim, aren't you going overboard? About Bill? I think it's affecting your judgment and it worries me. Well, don't let it. When I came back, I saw Grant's secretary here by the cottage. You sure? Absolutely. Do you think she... She threw the firebomb in revenge? Oh, I thought Sebastian. Could they be in this together in some way? Not outside, so. Stay there by the bell, huh? The yeah, he was around here the other time, too. That creep had Bill Wells' checkbook and license. Never get my hands on him. What's that? I'll take a look in the car. Bank Central, 5,000 francs. Republic of Chan banknote. Souvenir? Maybe. Republic Trust Company. Wellsless, that's the bank. Republic number 13745. That's a that's a safety deposit vault number. Rand's money? Does Sebastian put the money away because Brand's too frightened to do it himself? That's a good question.
his envelope. Will he know you've been there? Hopefully. Maybe he'll make a move for him. But just in case you grab a cab and hang in somewhere near where public trust, he may call Brand. I'll check back with you at the cottage. years old. This run is causing hairline cracks. The paper's bleeding. Come. I was there till it closed. I never saw Brand or anyone I might recognize. Well, some things are beginning to fall into place. That banknote's a counterfeit. How'd you find that out? I'll fill you in on that later. Right now, I'm going to see Sebastian. I think I've got enough on him to twist his arm a little. Frank has reached a new low. The central government has just replaced the Minister of Finance. There's been demonstrations in the street. The place is falling apart. Sure, the place is falling apart. Because the whole country is being flooded with false banknotes. All coming out of that printing plant and being shipped back to Africa. That's why Bill Wells was killed here, because the whole center of the operation is here. And the revolutionaries. Now, Sebastian was working for Brand, so Brand's in here somewhere. But where? Well, wherever it is, there's a woman. What's the matter to me? I feel, I feel so... So what, Stephen? A uh, drowsy sleep here. Uh, it happened right after I took my pills. It, I feel as if I want to go to sleep. 
<laughs> I can't think. Well, now you're going to go to sleep, Stephen. I've told everybody you're not feeling well and you are not to be disturbed. You're going to have a nice long nap. What? You are a cheat. And a liar. And a thief. And you never meant to leave your stupid wife at all, did you? I suppose I know that now. I guess I've known it all along. Well, I believe it now. What are you doing? I'm taking it, Stephen. I'm going to take everything from the vault. You won't be able to say one word of public reproach, will you? Because then the world will know just how loathsome and despicable you are. How you've profited. I wanted you to know this, Stephen. I wanted to see your eyes when you heard. Sweet dreams, Stephen. Sweet nightmares, Stephen. Together, his ego is going to take one nose dive. Hey, is that our landlady? Money's got to be. She's been in the fall. Stop the car! Stop it! What are you doing, you fool? You're gonna break it! How much is in there? Seven hundred and fifty thousand. She's your sister? Yes, my baby sister. Told her it was crazy to run away with his money. It was insane. Oh, I knew the money was there all along. Couldn't resist boasting about it. As he told you about it too. The way he looked at you. He boasted about going well. Murder. <laughs> What did Brand do for all his money? How was he involved in the counterfeiting scheme? Counterfeiting scheme? Some pair. All they know is they took the money and ran. Jim, look. He seems pretty much awake now. Hell hath no fury. <laughs> I think about that all the time.
The run is almost finished. I was just leaving. What? Everything's all right. Fine. Fine. You. No. Where you think you go? No. no. Huh? No. Nowhere. You're no. finished. No. Hold it right there. Let him go. Don't move, don't even blink. <coughs> now you face the wall. Go on, face it, face it. Hands high. You don't need a weapon, huh? Like to kill with your hands? He was trying to kill me. The way he did Sebastian? Not to me. He wasn't doing that for me. No? Oh, I guess he did it on his own, huh? Put your hands up there. Same way Sebastian killed Bill Wells, just on a whim. But you, you stay out of things, don't you? You're a good diplomat. Now, you keep him up there, you're gonna lose one. I'll find a phone and get someone to take him in. Listen to me. No more diplomatic double talk. I saved your skin for you just now. That doesn't mean I want it saved, you understand me? Bill Wells, good man, just went down. Now you. You're making a big mistake. I had nothing to do with killing your friend. It was Kettering. Kettering? Kettering. Now, don't count me with that. Look. Two years ago, I found out the Chan government was going to nationalize their resources, especially oil. That meant that companies like Kettering's would be out in the cold. They would take over. He works for Kettering? His goon. I went to Kettering. I told him I knew the whereabouts of certain 5,000 franc Chan printing plates. I'd get them for him, for a price. Then I helped him get them out of the country. Oh, you're right. turn around. Take the gun out with your left hand and hand it to me. Easy. Marty, can't you get him? Don't answer. When I woke up, I saw the money was gone. I got frightened, so I called Kettering, and he told me to come here. Yeah, and he was your surprise party. Just like he surprised Sebastian. Marty! All right, you, walk in front of me. Marty, what's it? Put the gun down, Hunter. Don't be a hero. Take it. You make no more trouble now, mister. Not now. Not no more. You had Wells killed, didn't you? You gave the order. Get him outside. Your goon here. You snuffed him just like that while you were working out in your gym. Outside. March. You don't see death, do you? You just arrange it. One more word from you, Hunter. Move! Grant? Where are you, Brand? Thank you. 